Well, presenters, welcome back to 1424 Basketball Training, where the goal is to take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. I'm Coach Tommy. Here's Teaching Tape Nuggets, Heat. Um, I just saw an accident. The uh, Nuggets won. So I guess you guys will like this. Jokic is back, so that's always good for Nuggets fans. PJ Tucker, I don't know why he switched off the Bucks, man. Should I would have took less money to stay on a, a much better team. Kyle Lowry. Duncan Robinson, one of those slept on shooters. He's so good at shooting. <clears throat> Kyle Lowry, just super solid pro. Nothing particularly special about <laughs> Kyle Lowry. Brush screen, Jokic. That play is usually designed for him to get a post up. Oh, he tried to bank it from there. So a little sprained wrist. Uh, looks like uh, no problem. Got Probably got a little rest for his legs. Compasso, you got to throw that back for the lob, man. That's got to be a jump right here with the oof. That would have been an oop. I remember the first time I was in uh, college and I, I played with super athletic people. I went to UCLA and uh, even just at the gym, just a regular old rec center, John Wooden Center, there would be uh, basketball players, scrubs, and then uh, tons of, a ton of UCLA volleyball players trying to play basketball. And they couldn't really play basketball, but they could run and jump. And I would just start throwing lobs off the backboard from half court. It was wild. Deadman. Bones growing out the fro. Deep. <clears throat> Bones had like a sprained ankle or something. He's, he's back. Aaron Gordon's got the fro. Is, is this, did I miss the memo? Jeff Green got to get the fro. Rivers got to get the fro. Can Compasso get a fro? <laughs> Bones. Another one. How come it... I mean, night and day, the team with Jokic, just even in the highlights, the shots look so much easier. Bam is one of those dudes. He's, he's an overachiever. He's kind of like one of those players where you think they've, you know, pretty much maxed out their potential. So that's always a good sign. Like, I think Steve Nash was one of those guys that maxed out their potential. Um, Kobe pretty much maxed out everything he can get. Very few players. Any any other players I missed that you guys actually think so? When I, when I'm really rating players, I I have it's super subjective, but it's I I judge where their ceiling is. So Jokic has an ultra high ceiling. I don't even think he's remotely close. Like LeBron, I think he has an ultra high ceiling. He he's gotten really close to maxing out his potential. Um, he's at the end of his career now, but uh, I don't think he's, he's even remotely close. I think Kyrie Irving was really, really close to maxing out his potential um, if we ever see him again. Um, yeah, those are kind of the guys that I think off the top of my head. This is the weight room stuff for Jokic. Just getting a little bit more bounce, jumping up a little bit of hang. <laughs> That's just beautiful position. Oh, good recovery, Deadman. Whew. Oh, you got to, oh, come on. You don't get the dunk, but you got to, you got to put it in. You got to lay it up. What are you doing?
here's those like uh i remember when i talk about like gun dorito banana this is a banana okay you should have this little hinge here instead okay you should be hinged here so you're tall and then you get the right internal rotation on the back foot this side's not as nice um typically this should be up on the balls of the feet as well but uh, this is not as, as clean definitely slower if you're not comfortable in a hinge low back strength stomach strength core strength hamstrings again like here it is again super slow version okay so he's definitely taller and it's a little bit harder to see but here okay this side at least is on the on the balls of his foot all these little things man so the further you get into the hole in any any particular craft or skill these tiny little things matter so much and it might not seem like much now but i guarantee if you give it to someone who's pretty far down the hole of basketball and um, trying to eke out an extra millisecond in speed or vert or uh, range those little things matter so much especially as you get older if you're an under athlete you rely a lot on angles techniques positions teamwork high release angles <clears throat> So no vert needed on the on the jumper here because when I talk about that high position three, the ball's above the forehead. Most guys will have it right right here above the eye. Okay, so his is above the forehead. Most people will have it here at the eye level. Okay, which makes this you know close out a little bit easier. Okay, this is an extra foot or foot and a half away, so that defender has to get a foot a foot and a half closer, and that is a big big deal. It's funny because uh, when, I, when I coach the kids and I pull the shot out behind the head, I call it the joker. And they just laugh. They're like, what the hell? What the hell? And then they said, if, you know, one, one player is like, oh, if, if you make it right now, I'm going to take my shoes off and quit basketball. <laughs> so I make it. And obviously he doesn't quit. But kids just they don't know any better or novices. They don't know any better. <clears throat> if you're undersized. You better learn how to shoot differently than the other 90% of people. Unless you become super duper duper good with range like Trey Young or ultra pure like Steph Curry. How would it? Lay that up. Naja can shoot threes. Uh oh, Bam hurt his hand. No, Jimmy Butler. See, like this. So Jokic gets to keep all this space because Bam's a little bit shorter. Jokic got long arms. He gets to keep all this cushion to to guard against his speed. Okay, Jokic's footwork is just not fast enough but he's still in relatively good guarding position. <clears throat> but Bam just is a little quicker and elevates quicker to elevate. Composo with a little CP3 flick here. Oh, I don't know what that was. This is a nice little uh, hesitation here. Okay, pump fake, get around. Looks like he's about to come with a drag. Okay, heavy foot on the left. Keeps going, right foot, right hand finish. Boop. Nice little freeze there. What's PJ Tucker mad about? Give me a shimmy, Rivers. This is a beat down, 89, 69. <clears throat> Lowry's kind of like those one, one of those really good game managers. Can hit a clutch, clutch bucket every now and then, but his prime days, and you know, he was never a superstar. 
Compasso. He definitely got the message, man. He's shooting that thing. That's like three boneses. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. These younger guys are different, man. The, these younger guys in the league, because if they've had remotely any good coaching, and I, you know, I would call myself a good coach. I've definitely taught players to shoot from that that range, and young ones too. They can throw these things up. So the game is definitely getting much, much, much tougher, much, much, much more skilled. Swinging around a bone. No, oh, go up a level over Duncan Robinson. No, oh. it's got to be the fro. Spin move, baseline. Or just a nice, I mean, this is the benefit of having this spin. He could spin anytime he wants. <clears throat> This quick spin, baseline, anytime he wants, he could bang him and then he'll come to the other side and just flip it up with his right hand. Or, you know, just suck all this pressure in perfect, you know, perfect dime. A lot less effort to just flip it over there. Kind of a great little screen here for, for Aaron Gordon, right? It doesn't go to him. The help sucks in and he just turns it into a little mini screen. That's one of those moves you got to work on. Pump fake one dribble right into a three-pointer. That's a good move there. Pump fake. Okay, one dribble away. Look. He goes up. That's a guard move. That's not really a center move. Look at that fro. Nice little catch and finish. He keeps grabbing his hand like his hand's busted. Like Jokic, very, very little highlights, but I guarantee you when I look at a stat, stat sheet, if I actually watch his game and prints all over the game, it would be so nice if he could just jam this. <laughs> right, two points is two points. Some are nicer than others. Like Kyle Lowry's not fast enough, doesn't have the bag, doesn't have the moves enough to just expose Jokic here. Um, any other quick, shorter guard would, would expose Jokic, but nice little game manager, a little Eli Manning esque. Just manages it, snakes it, gets around, nobody stops him, keeps coming, draws another double. Will Barton falls asleep for a split second. Gets an assist to, I mean, if that was Duncan Robinson, I'd believe it, but that was an ugly bank. Another pick and roll, Jokic. When is uh, Jamal Murray coming back? <clears throat> Jamal Murray, Bones. Where's Dozier? Was he playing? Well, he was pretty solid for a while, Dozier. Any stats on here? All right, no stats. All right. Well, good win for the Nuggets. What did I learn? Um, the Nuggets are completely a different team with Jokic, obviously. Um, do I still want them to tank? No, oh, I don't know. I thought Jokic was going to be out longer, but yes, uh, I think uh, Paolo and Chet Holmgren are, you know, kind of team changing guys. It's kind of like when Tim Duncan uh went to the Spurs that one year David Robinson got hurt instantly you know you get a, a super team so I just think pairing up Jokic with a uh I don't know a big a super versatile big like Paolo or Chet Holmgren 
uh, it could be very, very wild if you had trying to get Jokic exposed on that pick and roll and you have uh, Chet Holmgren kind of recovering and being that weak side help blocker. It could be very formidable, even though Chet Holmgren is about five years away from an NBA body. All right, guys, until next time, take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. Peace out.